Hey y'all, it's been a minute since I have been in the garden. So we have our basket. We are gonna start harvesting stuff and check on the garden. Here is my tortilla, mm, tortilla, mm -mm -mm. tomatillo plant. And as you can see, it has really started to flourish. I have lots of tomatillos on here. And you can see that they have a little paper coating, but the actual tomatillo is on the inside. So I have to wait till I guess that fills up and then I can harvest. But I'm gonna have a lot that I don't know what to do with. And as you can see, I think that I have single-handedly um, contributed to the bee population this year because they fat as hell. They are big as hell. Hi, Mr. Bee. Here we have our eggplant. So I'm just letting that do its thing until it's ready to harvest. I have another one right there. And I don't know if I have any more anywhere else, but oh, there's a nice big one right there. I'm gonna come over here to our peppers and our scotch bonnets have really started to turn yellow. I still have some green ones on there, so I am going to pick these and add them to my stock. My cayenne finally starting to turn red. I don't know if it's because it's being shaded, but at least I got one. My paprika peppers are doing well, so I'm gonna have a lot of paprika to dry. And I'm really interested to see how much different it tastes than in the store. And then here's my okra plant. As you can see, uh, I've been a little neglectful in picking these. And trust me, once you see them, it takes like maybe two days for them to get this size. So I have to harvest these. Let's see if any of these carrots are ready. Ooh. Okay. It's a fat one. But I'll take it. Any of the little ones that pulled up, I'm gonna put in the compost bin. Ignore the hair. All right, now we're heading to the other side of the garden. See what's going on over there. So we still got some green tomatoes on here. Um, I don't know. I don't think that this tomato plant is really gonna produce any more red ones. So I might just take off the green ones, the larger ones put some fried green tomatoes, and then call it a season for this guy. A jalapeno plant is still holding on, still getting some fruit, but probably once these get bigger, I will do the same thing. I will just call it a day. But if you got any advice, let me know. Should I be topping this off? Should I just be cutting it? What should I be doing? I tried to overwinter once and that didn't work, so yeah. Let me know. Here is my bonus okra plant. It's not, it's not giving. It just is not giving. So since I'm getting okra from the other one, I think I'm just gonna dig this up and get this bed ready for like my kale and my collards because those seeds gotta go in the ground like ASAP. Here are my last minute string beans. As you can see, only two came up. Um, I had some issues with worms. I don't know why they waited until September, October for the worms to start coming up and it's just ridiculous, but I'm hoping to still get some green beans. Hopefully they'll grow. <gasps> Pray for me, y'all. Tell you what, these Roma tomatoes, they are still giving. They are still turning red. So I am going to harvest them until, oops, until they don't give me any anymore. Y'all, look at these radishes. Now y'all, I planted these radishes on August 26th. Today is, I think, the 5th of October. And look, look at that. So, we are going to pickle these. And we can use them in charcuterie. We can use them in our, like, Burrito tacos, whatever. 
and the beautiful thing about these radishes is you know it's like you do enough to harvest so you can pickle them these last forever and then I can start prepping this bed for my onions that I'm going to plant and let over winter not a bad harvest day for the first week in October so this is the reluctant gardener signing off and um, I probably the next thing that I'll be doing is planting all of my fall and winter crops to include um, your collards, your kale, um, I'm going to try Brussels sprouts again, it didn't work for me with the seedlings, maybe it'll work in the ground, and loads of garlic. See ya!